Hi, my name is David Rowlandson, and I currently serve as the Director of Bands and Assistant Professor of Music at Minot State University. My name is Lana Heckel. I teach general music and band at Sydney Middle School. We're here today to tell you a little bit about a project that we've done over this past year that we've called a VPLC, or a Virtual Professional Learning Community. We gathered a small group of music teachers together to meet on Google Hangouts throughout the school year to support each other, to learn together, to share resources with each other, and ultimately to become stronger music teachers. In 2017, I took a couple of master's classes at Minot State University from Dr. Rowlandson. The issue that I honed in on for my research during that class was isolation among music teachers. In my own personal experience, my first few years of teaching were a challenge, just like many other music teachers. Even in moments when I was surrounded by other music teachers, I still felt reluctant to ask so many of the questions I had. There wasn't necessarily time set aside for those things. Beyond that, in rural schools, there might be miles between one music teacher and the next. I thought about ways we could do something about that and help each other out. Dr. Rowlandson, he said, he agreed, and if I were to ever want to collaborate on some project in the future where we attempted to make a difference in this area, that he'd be all for it. Early in 2019, NAFME leadership was interested in collaborative research between university faculty and pre-K-12 music educators. I contacted Lana and said this might be an opportunity for us to explore the mentorship uh, and professional development project that she described a few years earlier in my Critical Issues course. We all know that music teaching is a highly specialized craft that takes years of refinement. Most music teachers are heavily reliant on professional development opportunities available outside of university degree programs. Music teachers have started pursuing new professional development opportunities where they can communicate with other music teachers and have opportunities to integrate what they learn into their teaching in classrooms through hands-on experiences. What we decided to do was create a PLC, a professional learning community, that specifically involved only music teachers. Because collaboration and dialogue are the guide for PLCs, we believe this was the right way to move forward with our professional development and mentorship project. So we were convinced that a music-focused PLC was the direction we wanted to go, but we had one major problem facing many music teachers in rural states. Meeting in person can be practically and logistically impossible. So we decided to use the various tools made available to our schools and established a virtual PLC. Our PLC involves six participants ranging from three to 17 years of teaching experience, and we met twice a month over a seven month period. Each meeting lasted about an hour, and we met 11 times total as a group. Our project was centered around something called CMP, Comprehensive Musicianship Through Performance. When the whole experience was said and done, we looked back and found we had covered quite a list of topics over the course of our meetings. Imagine if a group like this had been around to be your sounding board in your first years. Most of the group members did not know each other before this VPLC project began. And by the end of it, every member agreed that this experience was beneficial to his or her teaching. We chose comprehensive musicianship through performance as the focus of our VPLC. It didn't have to be CMP. It could have been uh, a variety of other topics. Uh, previous researchers suggested that PLC meetings are most effective when they're focused on a central topic. Uh, we were both experienced and familiar with, with CMP and the positive impacts uh, that it has on large ensembles when used in the classroom. Put most simply, CMP is a thoughtful approach to planning large ensemble instruction that engages students in music learning that contains more depth and meaning than simply performing the correct notes and rhythms. Remember, PLCs are most effective when teachers actively share, discuss, and evaluate the work we do in, in our classrooms. And remember, you're sharing this with the sole aim of providing high quality music instruction to your students. This professional development is available to every music teacher. We have a sign up sheet or a Google form that you can fill out if you're interested in joining a small group.
we hope you'll spread the word and let other teachers know that they can join up with one of our VPLCs and have some professional development that lasts them through the whole school year.